This is my mentor classroom investigation, and my name is Seth Schreffler. I am doing my current mentorship at Rancho Gabriela Elementary School. So the first thing I'm gonna to address today is student population. So my student population resides in, the, resides in the Dysart Unified School District, is one of four comprehensive high schools in the Dysart School District. Um, it ranges between 24 to 28 students per classroom, depending on the day and of course the class. And the seating is arranged in rows of two seats. So you have the students sitting next to uh, each other side by side, uh, about four rows, five rows. And it's about equally split between gender with slightly more females than males. Around three-fifths of the population are Caucasian, three-tenths Hispanic, and one-tenth African American. So the majority is, is uh, Caucasian, while uh, the second majority is Hispanic, with the minority being African American students. So our classroom setup, we always have the daily objective on the board so that students can uh, at least have an idea of where they're going towards, what their goal is going to be, and uh, how they're going to be engaging the content. As you can see right here, here's a photo that I snapped of our agenda for the day. It's, it's the same thing as object, objective, we just uh, we word it differently. Um, so here it's going to be analyze how the states were introduced into the union, of course, aligned with the standards. And then in addition to daily agenda on the side of the board, we also have a daily agenda that uh, is addressed each day um, and rewritten up there so that the students can track what they were going over yesterday as opposed to today, and they can also track it back over a week. And then I can. So, of course, the agenda reflects the empowerment of students. So, uh, agenda, Rancho Rattlers, I can analyze how states were introduced into the union. Not students will be able to, but you know, I can in the uh, student's first person. Organization is key. So my mentor values organization and maintains order by designating classroom leaders. These classroom leaders assist in the daily flow of class and assist with tasks such as material distribution. Of course, distribution, collection, um, just, just ensuring that class, uh, the class is moving forward at a, at a pretty progressive rate. They make sure that the papers are uh, being passed out, being collected, um, and it's designated by the students so that way it's, it's not as difficult to understand um, who is the leader of the week. It's also posted on the board as you can see in the photo it says at the very bottom you can see for each block you have each uh, student that's been designated the classroom leader. Uh, we also usually have a schedule up there. It was taken down when I took the photo but this is pretty uh, pretty much the, the organization of the room right here in this corner. Uh, new leaders are designated each week and are selected in each block. And then reminders and agenda. So here's the uh, the daily agenda I was discussing a little bit earlier. Some of the empowerment that we were talking about, some of the posters that can make students feel more comfortable in the classroom. And again, uh, if anybody ever needs help, the professor or the educator leaves notes up on the board for the students. Uh, she, she sends reminders up on the board, uh, always in the same place. That way the students know where to look to. All reminders are left in a des designated space and agendas are left up for a week in order to provide students proper time to copy down to understand the content. So this gives them uh, enough time for them to actually get the content, write it down, and, uh, and interpret it. Heavy use of visual representations to assist in student engagement. Again, uh, we have posters all over the room, um, things that are written everywhere to help remind the students that they have stuff to do or uh, assignments to turn in. And then again, uh, just, just just stuff to boost the confidence of the students that are that pl plastered all over the wall. I am courageous, I am cooperative, I am grateful. Um, a lot of good stuff that we, we keep up on the walls. Special elements, what makes us different from other schools? Uh, we have, the, of course, the, the Chromebook cart, and then we also have a different program called Picturing America, which is really interesting. Um, as you can see here, there's Washington crossing the Delaware uh, in the bottom right-hand corner photo, you can see another photo which depicts all the presidents, um, except for President uh, Trump, of course, that one's fairly new, so that hasn't been added to the, the president list, but that one has all of them up to Barack Obama, uh, very interesting. And then there's the, the cards, just to give a little bit more of a representation of how we organize things. We have the Chromebooks and, of course, the Picturing America. That, those are really what uh, set us apart from other schools as far as the way we um, are teaching, as far as I, I can see so far. Classroom Consequences. 
No clear set of designated consequences. All the verbing, verbal warnings are issued on an individual basis. Uh, of course, this escalates, uh, threatens to withhold resource or special time if, if the whole class is being um, disorderly. Uh, if, if that doesn't work, administrative intervention may be warranted. And then, of course, as you escalate, resource officer or law enforcement may be needed to uh, kind of calm down the situation. Um, links and resources. Of course, most of my stuff is from Rancho Gabriel Elementary School directly. I use Screencast-O-Matic for the screencast. And then all photos are provided either by me, sourced from Rancho Gabriela themselves, or from PowerPoint icons. Thank you very much for your time.